So, you have installed your NAS server. All is running smoothly when suddenly... <laughs> well, no worries because in this video we we'll look at how to backup your OpenMediaVault NAS server data to an external backup server using rsync. Stay tuned. Just before setting up OpenMediaVault we need to set up the rsync server. For that you'll need to install a machine with either Debian or Ubuntu. If you need help with that, I'll leave you a couple of links in the video description below for your guidance. So, let's get on with it. First of all, I'll SSH into my backup machine. To install rsync type, sudo apt-get install rsync. So, uh, with rsync installed, it's needed to create a pair of files, the first one being the configuration file. For that I'll type sudo nano forward slash etc forward slash rsyncd.conf I already have a sample file that I copied from my old NAS and I'll paste it into this new file. So, this file is divided largely into sections. The global section and the module section. In the module section you'll find the configuration for each rsync module or share. I'm not gonna dive deep into this configuration file, I'll leave you a link in the video description below if you'd like to read more about the sections in the file, but I will though explain the module section. The first line in brackets is the given name to the module, the area that will be available to reach from the rsync client. You can give it any name you'd like. The second line, the path, is exactly that, the physical path to the resource you'd like to be available over rsync. The read-only line determines whether clients will be available to upload files or not. If read-only is true, then any uploads will fail, so we leave that as false. The list parameter determines whether this module is listed when the clients ask for a listing of available modules. The auth users are the users that have access to this module. These users do not have to necessarily exist on the system. These are rsync users that should be listed in the secrets file that is described in the global section above. The secrets file is the file where the rsync users are created and available for the rsync server to read. Now, it is time to create a secrets file. As seen previously, this file holds the pairs of usernames and passwords to use with rsync. To create it type sudo nano forward slash etc forward slash rsyncd.secrets. I'm gonna copy here my secrets file and as you can see, I already have here the username that I'm going to use for backing up my data. Once the secrets file is created, we need to protect it from unwanted eyes as it is in plain text. To protect the secrets file type, sudo chmode 640 forward slash etc forward slash rcnt.secrets. And uh, with this then, it's time to start the rcnt daemon. To start the rsync daemon type sudo rsync dash dash daemon. No line should pop up. To check if it is uh, started type sudo ps dash x pipe grab rsync. So with the rsync server running it is now time to configure open media vault. But just before we do it please hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and activate the notifications by clicking on the bell button. Ok, from the Open Media Vault control panel I am going to scroll down to services and click on rsync. I am going to add a new job by clicking on add and for the type I will choose remote. The mode I will leave as push and I am going to select the source folder to backup. 
On the destination server field, I'll type username, at the server's IP address, colon, the module to which to backup to, which was NAS-backup. The authentication type, I'll leave as password, and I'll type the password in the field below. Now, I'm going to scroll down and choose trial run just to test the job before making it live. All the other options I'm going to leave as default and I'm going to save. Let's apply the changes. And perform a test run. Ok, all seems to be good. All that is left to do now is to turn off the trial run switch and run it live. I hope you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe and activate the notifications. See you soon on another video.